Hey guys, Alina with iFoodReal.com here. Today we're making Instant Pot eggs and we're gonna make them three ways, soft, medium, and hard boiled. So let's do it. Hi guys, hey guys, hey guys. The first ones are soft boiled eggs. When it comes to instant pot eggs, precision matters. You can cook as many eggs as you like, but you just have to follow the instructions for the water and amounts. So we're going to add one cup of hot tap water. No need to boil it, but it has to be hot. Then you add a steamer basket or an instant pot rack that came with it, doesn't matter, and place as many eggs as you would like. I'm going to place two. And it's important to keep the eggs out of the water and not touching the walls of Instant Pot pot so they don't crack. Close the lid and make sure the pressure valve is set to sealing. And then we're going to cook them for one minute. Actually, there is a button egg and it's set default to five. So you can use that, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna select one. Or you can also press uh, manual. And this is Instant Pot Lux, so it cooks only on high pressure. So this is your pressure cook button, basically. And on Instant Pot Duo, you will have pressure cook button and you will have low and high pressure. So make sure it's high pressure. Now, Instant Pot will take time to build up pressure. And that's why we added hot water. So it doesn't cook as long so the egg becomes hard boiled. So after one minute is up, it is super important to release pressure immediately and place eggs in um, a bowl with cold water. By doing so, you stop the cooking process immediately for that runny yolk. Often it is recommended to place eggs in an ice bath, but there are two problems with that for me, A, uh, you might not have eyes handy, often I don't, and B, you might feel too lazy to do so. So placing them in a cold water um, is good enough. And another option is you can run them under cold water for one to two minutes. Second option for instant pot eggs are medium boiled eggs. You add one cup of hot tap water, just like with soft boiled eggs, then you put your mash basket and eggs. Close the lid, pressure valve to ceiling. And now we're going to cook them for three to four minutes. Three minutes is yolk still has runny stuff in it. And four is like a little bit um, harder, but still meaty. And we're going to do quick release the same way. When the pin drops, Instant pot will be safe to open, don't worry, it's not gonna let you open until pin is down. Remove the eggs and place them in cold water bath. Egg number three are hard boiled eggs, the ones you want to use for egg salad. So you want to start with one cup of cold water, cold water. The bath, the eggs, <laughs> you know the drill. Close the lid. And we are going to cook them a little bit different. Make sure the valve is to ceiling. And now press manual or pressure cook on high for five minutes. You can also press egg. It goes by default to five minutes. And we're gonna let them cook for five minutes and stay in there and release pressure after five minutes. They're done cooking. Let instant pot come down naturally for five minutes and release the remaining pressure. And I added a few more eggs because I realized that I want an egg salad. All right, now let's peel and hopefully the eggs turn out the way I promised. I have no idea.
In Sunpot eggs are pretty easy if you follow simple rules. Add one cup water, uh, pay attention what temperature of water recipe calls for, use the proper pressure release method, and make sure your eggs are not submerged in water or touching the walls. And you should end up with perfect instant pot eggs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time. Bye.